What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of AutoCAD tutorial and this time we are going to draw some good stuff. Hey, that's pretty good. Thanks Ian. Let's just draw some rectangle first. Open the home tab, click on the line command. But before drawing I want to mention that you have command bar at the bottom and you can write any command instead of clicking it. So. For the line command, just click on the L on your keyboard and press enter or spacebar. Personally, I prefer spacebar, because in AutoCAD you will mostly be using letters on the keyboard, and spacebar is much more convenient for me at least. Now let's begin drawing. First, specify the starting point. Let's make it somewhere uh, here in the middle of our page. As you can see, you can draw lines in any way you want, but it's hard to draw straight lines. Click on the ortho mode on the status bar or press F8. Ortho mode enabled, now disabled. And again enable. Can you see it? When I enable ortho mode, it makes your lines straight either vertical or horizontal. Easy and simple. Let's make a rectangle with dimensions of 1000 by 1000. So before we have specified first point and now we are going to enter 1000 and click on the spacebar. Do the same thing for other sides too. Click escape to finish. Now let's draw a roof onto this rectangle to make it look like a house. But as you can see here, you will have to draw it with your intuition. It won't be accurate or symmetric. To draw the line accurately, we must know polar tracking, object snap track, or otherwise called uh, or track, and object snap. Or you can also say O snap here on the status bar. Polar tracking enables us to draw lines at a certain angle increment. Click on the 45 degree here. This will help us draw lines at a 45 degrees like so. Can you see the green dotted line when you make angles with 45 increment? That's polar tracking kicking in. You can change degree to other angles too. I'm sorry, I mean you can change angles to other degrees too. If you need 30 degrees, choose 30 or if you need something else, choose other ones. If you want a custom angle, you can make it in tracking settings. O snap will help you draw lines or other objects at a specific point. Let's say you want to draw a line from the midpoint of the rectangle here, but you are not sure if you are at the midpoint. To know the midpoint location, enable midpoint in the O snap pop up list right here. Now, as you can see, when you hover over the midpoint, AutoCAD will automatically show the midpoint. So, OSNAP will help you with the specific points like midpoint, center, intersection, uh, perpendicular, tangent, and many more in this list. On the other hand, we have OTRAC here on the left of the OSNAP. And it will help us, like polar tracking, track things. But instead of angle, it will track object snaps. If you hover over uh, the midpoint, you will see a green dotted line, and that is O track. Now let's try to draw a roof with 45 degree angle that ends at the midpoint of this rectangle. Start a line on the edge, hover over the midpoint to activate O track. Then follow the O track upwards till polar tracking kicks in, like so, and just left click. Then click on the other corner to have a symmetric roof, and escape to finish. That's it for today's video, I hope you have enjoyed it, subs if you loved it, thumbs if you liked it. See you in the next video.